Hello everyone, Storm King and Aluki back here again with more Let's Play Earthbound. Uh, last time we were in Tucson and we had just reached the houses of Apple Kid and Orange Kid. Apparently everybody likes Orange Kid. Let's see him first. Hmm, that looks pretty normal. A bit too orange in here. Greetings, I'm Orange Kid, the inventor. Have you heard of me? I'm a bit embarrassed about my reputation. I have a lot of inventions in development, but I'm running short of cash. I'm basically a happy-go-lucky person, so I'm not worried. You know, I'm working on this machine that would really help you in peaceful Rest Valley. I hope it's ready soon. What? You're actually willing to help the project? I guess. Oh, goody. Would you be okay to get $200 to buy materials? Um, I don't have 200 on me. I can be back with it, though. Oh, I guess I was just too hopeful. Oh, well, never mind. Hmm. Let's see what Apple Kid wants. Wow, this place looks terrible. I am a mouse. No one has given me a name yet. I feel sorry for you, Mr. Mouse. Let's see here. A broken machine. Who knows what that does? Certainly not this guy. Well, I've sort of neglected to doing my housework. I know it's a bit of a pigsty, but anyway, uh, I'm Apple Kid. I haven't taken a bath in quite a while, so I may be kind of stinky. By the way, I'm starving. Do you have something to eat? If you do, can I have some? I guess. Let me give me. I'll give him a burger. Thanks. You seem very nice. Uh, I wonder if maybe you would like to invest some money in my inventions? Sure. Yes, yes, yes. Oh, oh, excuse me. I mean, thank you. By the way, I could really use $200. Uh, well, go ahead and make yourself comfortable anyway. You can flop down anyway. Great, so they each want $200. Well, I might as well. We'll find out what they invent later on, but we do have to get them the $200. Otherwise, neither, was, neither of them will be inventing anything. Now, don't hit me. I'll stop by the department store. Okay, well, um, I'm going to actually pause it right here and uh, buy a bunch of stuff, and then I'll go around and show you where it is and what I got. Okay, so I'll be right back. Okay, I'm back here at the top of the uh, place. Uh, this is the department store. Um, so I went and uh, got some money out. I already bought a couple items. Uh, I even bought some stuff back in town. I'll show you as I go back through there. So first off, I bought a new slingshot ups my attack power by four. Everything else here you can kind of skip on for now. I mean, we already have a cheap bracelet and a baseball cap, or at least we did have a cheap bracelet. I just upgraded it. But they don't have a good one. However, I do want something from this person. A teddy bear. It's a very expensive teddy bear. bear. No. And now we have a teddy bear. Now you might be wondering, what the heck do I want a teddy bear for? Well, teddy bear they sell over there? I heard it helps in battle. I don't know what they're talking about. Looks like a plain old teddy bear to me. Well, he's right, it does help in battle. The way it works is the teddy bear will take damage for you. You only have one at a time among any of your characters. But, it'll trail behind your last character, and it'll automatically absorb damage that would normally be taken by the character who's holding it. I want to visit my boyfriend in Threed, but the bus won't go there. I wonder why. Could be because of the zombies. Happy Happy Village is getting more and more blue. Do you get it? He's trying to make a joke. The village is literally being painted blue. That's part of their religion. Yeah. Mmm, I'm eating a skip sandwich. Makes you want to start skipping. I saw it on TV and I just had to try one. I'll bet I can really move after eating this. This is the bakery, skip sandwiches, lucky sandwiches, all that stuff. I think that my grandchild is older than you. He's a famous inventor. He lives here and people call him Orange Kid. He seems to be popular with the girls because he's groovy? Yeah. Oh, right, I don't want to get anything from you. Go away. I heard a meteorite crashed in a hilltop near on it. That must have been exciting. Mm, I guess. It was also very weird. Um, do meteorites normally tell you that you're going to save the world from some intergalactic enemy? I don't know. 
I always feel much better after hearing my mom's voice on the phone. I was really homesick recently, and my mom cleared things right up. You should call your mom sometime. Believe me, those melancholy feelings will be gone before you know it. Yeah, there's actually a sickness you can get in the game. Your Only your main character gets it at just random points called homesick. And the only way to cure it is to call your mom. Didn't you talk to me before? I believe I said this department store isn't crowded. I like that. Or something to that effect. Yeah, I did talk to him before. Sorry. I went and talked to everybody here so I knew what they'd say. Um, the person on the left here sell, will buy back items from you. Uh, most of the other shops won't buy items from you. But this is a cheap way to just unload stuff. Uh, do you want to buy a ticket to the Runaway 5 show? Sure. The main floor and balcony seats are sold out. We only have box seats. They cost 20 bucks. Would that be okay? Oh, oh wait, the box seats are sold out a long time ago. My mistake. The box seats are the most popular. Yeah, thanks. Got my hopes up. I was hoping to see the Runaway 5. I don't know who they are, but I mean, if they're selling tickets, it's got to be a good show, right? Especially if it's sold out. Hmm. Tonight, the boogie is back. It's the Runaway 5's night. Oh, so the Runaway 5 is playing here at the Chaos Theater. If I had some connections, I could waltz right in. I'm just a regular Joe. And you and me both. I love standing in a queue. I also love words that start with Q. Clean, quiet, quick. Um, very weird. I'm starting a line here. I want a ticket for today's show, but I may not get it. Let's see what's going on inside. I guess I lost my ticket. No, I can't get in. The ticket counter at the department store was even sold out. Hello, please present your ticket. Uh, you want to see Poochified, the manager? Right through this door, please. The Runaway Five owed me a lot of money. They'll stay here until they pay me back. They might be here for a hundred years, unless you decide to pay off their debt. <laughs> uh, well, I don't know how I'm supposed to do that. I don't really have a whole lot of money. <clears throat> Despite having hundreds of dollars here, it's not that much. Oh, well, yeah, that's right. We're the Runaway Five. We're popular, but we're not rich. We're being cheated by this theater, and we're really deep in debt. We may be popular, but that girl who lives at the house with the preschool is the talk of the town. I want to see her someday. Do you play some sports? If you do, that's fine by us. The Tucson Athletic Committee. Okay. If you have time to read this, go to the Chaos Theater immediately. I just went there. Hmm. People sure are bossy. Huh. Hint guy again. No, I'm not buying your overpriced hints. Let's see, anybody home? If you're looking for Venus's house, it's next door. Okay. Venus? Venus? My daughter left for the big city to become a superstar. She's using a stage name. Vane... Well, Vane something. She's working hard. I think she means Venus. Nobody else is home. Um, oh, looks like we're out of time. I'll finish up this on the next episode. This has been Strong King and Aluki. Thanks for watching. I'll see you guys next time.